Welcome back to the channel guys and today I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to make a microphone in Blender. Now the main thing we're really going to be focusing on, even though I'm going to be showing you everything, is really going to be this mesh over here. It's kind of like the, the main thing we want to learn how to do. Like how do we actually make this kind of complicated looking cross pattern mesh. You can see we didn't just add a wire modifier here. This actually has um, bits weaving in and out of each other. So I'm going to show you step by step how we can do that. And this is going to be a very interesting modeling exercise. So definitely watch. I'll be uploading the final result to my Patreon. All of that's in the description. So let's jump in. And I hope you guys enjoy making a microphone. So we're going to start by selecting everything in our scene and pressing delete. We're going to go ahead now and go shift A and under the mesh options, let's add in a plane. With this plane, we're going to tab into edit mode and with everything active, we're just going to right click, click on the subdivide option. And then under the little subdivision tab here, let's just come here and make this 70 subdivisions under a number of cuts. Okay, so now we're going to go to our top orthographic view. We're just going to select this row over here in our top orthographic view. So just one row. Then we're going to go control I to inverse the selection and we're going to go X and delete the vertices. So now we have just this row over here. So we're going to select everything. And if everything active, we're going to press F3 on our keyboard and we're going to type in checker. I'm going to click on checker deselect. So every second one is now active. Then you're going to go over to your object data properties. You're going to come to the vertex group, create a vertex group and then assign those verts. So if you deselect everything and you now click here select, you can see that this is the active selection. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to zoom way in like so. We're going to press A to select everything. And you can see we have the grid here. So see the grid spacing here. So you have a cube and you have another cube. So with all of this active, you're going to go Shift D to duplicate and then holding in Control or Command, you can snap. Let's snap it to this grid over here like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go G and then holding in Control, we're going to move it and snap it over to the side. So we've just moved all of this up like that, as you can see. So now it's a little bit offset like that. And if we were to go here and click select, you can see we have this sort of zigzag pattern here of the selection. So now all we have to do is come back in here, press A to select everything, Shift D to duplicate, hold and control, and then just snap it up the same amount of distance as you can see there. And now you can go Shift R and just keep repeating that by press holding and Shift R. And let's just duplicate this all the way out till we have something that looks roughly like a cube or a square. So roughly the same size like that. And then you're going to press A to select everything. And then you are going to go Shift D to duplicate and then R90 and press Enter. So now we've duplicated it and rotated it 90 degrees. And now we're going to tap out of edit mode and we're going to go to our modifiers. We're going to give this a cast modifier. And let's just tab into edit mode, enable the displays over here so we can see it in edit mode and then press A to select everything. And then go G and Z and move it up a little bit. And then you can come here and increase the factor just to round it out a little bit like so and maybe mess around with the radius if you want. In fact, just leave the radius. We just want to play around with that factor just to kind of round that out. And you can move it, you know, up a little bit, down a little bit, just mess around with it till you like what you get. Then we're going to tab back out and now we have this dome. We're just going to come to the drop down and apply it. Now we can tab into edit mode. Let's just go S Z and scale everything up on a Z a little bit like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to deselect everything. We're going to come here to our object data properties and then just select this group. And now we can go Alt S and just scale it out along the normals. And then go Control I to inverse the selection and then go Alt S and scale in like so. Now we have these two cr crisscross patterns. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go F3 and we're going to type in convert. And we're going to go convert to curve. Now if we go to our curve properties, we can go under to the geometry and under to the bevel here, we can make this 0 0.002 or maybe even a bit more, maybe 0 0.05. Just mess around with it, 0 0.01. Okay, 0 0.01, that's looking good. Uh, maybe I'll go a little bit smaller. But the idea here is just to kind of create this sort of thing here. And so it looks like a mesh. And then we can come here and give this whole thing a subdivision surface modifier. And now you can see it's looking a lot better. So now what we can do is we can clean this up a bit by going into edit mode. Let's just select this bottom half and go X and delete those verts. And we can actually select these bottom, this bottom row and let's just go G, Z and we have a proportional editing. Let's just maybe bring that one down a bit 
Okay, that's looking pretty good. And now we can go shift a, let's add in a circle. Let's tab into edit mode and let's just scale the whole thing in. And let's just extrude it up and then maybe scale the whole thing out like this. And then let's just go E to extrude, Alt S and scale in along the normals just to give it some thickness. And let's give this whole thing here a bevel modifier. And let's bring down that bevel amount, bump it up under segments, and then give it a subdivision surface modifier. And you could always, you know, come in here and just delete some more of these verts if you have to. And just kind of scale them a little bit with proportional editing. Just so they kind of tuck in the mic here a little bit better. And let's just do one more thing here. Control R. Just add in a little bit of a edge here and just kind of scale it in just a bit. And then Control B to bevel it. Like so. And just kind of adds a little bit of a border there. Um, maybe just... Just, we just want to kind of make it look like it's kind of like an extruded ring. So just a little bit of detail like that really helps. We're going to right click and go shade smooth. Now we can just grab this whole thing here. Shift D to duplicate R 180 in the front of graphic view and press enter. And then just go G, Z, move it up. And let's just tap to edit mode and just scale the whole thing down a bit and move it up like so. And you could also, I suppose, if you want to just delete some of these bottom verts. And now we have this. Let's just grab this ring. We can go Shift D to duplicate and Z, bring it down, scale it a little bit, and in edit mode, maybe scale it up. And now we have the hard part modeled, right? Which is kind of like this mesh over here. So now we're gonna go Shift A, let's add in another circle. Let's move it down and in edit mode, let's scale it a bit. And at this point, I'm just gonna go E to extrude it down, E to extrude again, and then E to extrude E to extrude one more time, down to here, S to scale. And then I'm gonna go F to fill that and control B just to create a bevel, like so. And then let's just grab this edge and this edge, control B to create a bevel. E to extrude, Alt S, scale in along the normals. And let's just give these edges here a bevel and select them. And that's it. Um, now we can give this a subdivision surface modifier. Right click, go shade smooth. We can add all sorts of cool materials to this if you want to. But for now, let's just go shift A. Let's add in a camera. Let's move it over to the side. Something like this. There we go. And let's make it cycles under the render. Let's make the device GPU. And under the render, let's just maybe make the samples I don't know, 70 for now, should be fine. Let's make sure to save. I'm gonna save it to my desktop as a mic. Save blend file, and now let's go Shift A. Let's add in an area light and move it up. And let's just give it a strength of 120, scale it a bit. Now if we go Z and we go rendered, we can see this is what we have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go over to my word properties. I'm gonna to go to my color and give this a sky texture and then bring the strength down to 0.5. And I'm also just going to go over to my render properties and go down to the film and enable transparent. So now we have this. So now we can grab these different things. So I'm gonna grab the mesh over here. I'm gonna give that grid mesh thing a shader. I'm gonna give it a metallic value and I'm gonna bring down the roughness and then make the base color just a little bit darker. Then I'm gonna select the bottom mesh and I'm gonna give it that same material. And for now, let's just grab this ring here. I'm just gonna give that a material, kind of make it slightly kind of gold, make it metallic and bring down that roughness a bit. And then I'm gonna give the same thing to the mic body here. But with this ring over here, I might just make that the mesh material that we gave to this. And then maybe you could come in here and select some different parts to the mic and kind of just make some materials, like maybe make a black plastic looking one bring down the roughness a bit, assign it. Just use your imagination. The idea is just kind of showing you guys how simple it is to make a microphone, especially one uh, with a mesh like this. It can sort of be a tricky part, making this sort of mesh, but this kind of shows you how it's possible. So now um, you can you know, duplicate your lighting and you can make it look pretty cool. Um, that's it. Let's quickly give this a test render. Go render and render image. 
And there we have it. So this is how to make a microphone in Blender using some very simple techniques. Obviously the hardest part here is kind of making this sort of wire mesh, but hopefully you guys can use this now. I'll be uploading this model to my Patreon and I'll see you guys next time for another Blender tutorial.